I know, I know, ain't no stopping us now. See, um, Facebook has a problem with music, but you cannot, you cannot confuse my singing with music. There ain't no way to confuse what I'm doing as music. Hi, hi, my name is Christine and I'm a fashion consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And this, this, my dear friends, is the shine at nine. That's right. Every day, every day, we get together at nine o'clock. Oh, look, I found another mask. Hold on. I found another mask. Yesterday was Mardi Gras. Today is the beginning of the Lenten season. And I found this mask and I'm thinking it's pretty cute. So I might use it to like hold back my hair because, you know, I just got my hair cut two weeks ago and already it's way too long. Like one of my girlfriends to me said, said to me today, and she said it with love and I appreciated it. She said, Chris, you need a haircut. And I'm like, I just got a haircut. And she's like, oh, and I'm like, yeah. So hello, hello, hello. I've got my tea. Oh, and look, I'm living life large today because the tea is steaming. Can you see the steam? Oh yeah, there it is. And there's no cover on top of that. So we're going to put that over on the side and fingers crossed that I don't spill anything because spilling tea, don't let me spill the tea because that would be bad. Okay. So everything I'm going to show tonight is only $5. Hi, Marianne. Everything I'm showing is $5. Not even joking. The necklace that I'm wearing, $5. True story. These earrings actually, I believe are part of um, a Z collection. So they're not $5. Okay. So happy, happy Wednesday. I hope you had a wonderful day. It was beautiful here in uh, central Pennsylvania. I went for a walk. Hi, Tabitha. I went for a walk and I wasn't sure because my little doohickey, look, let me show you my little doohickey. My little doohickey, I charged it all night and my little doohickey didn't charge. Like I thought I was charging it. It was not charging. So then I think what happens is I think you have to charge it when it's on, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to work this little thing. I never really knew how to work it. Um, but it's charged now. And as you can see, I took it off the charger thing. And um, what would you say, Tabitha? I know. Look, I found another one. This isn't the one that I was looking for. The, remember I said that I had one that had feathers? That's still packed away, but this is a black one. And I was like, this is really cute. And I could use it to hold back my hair. So now I look like I have, I look, I have volume at the top. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So I did walk today. I did not walk with my music. So I didn't have, and the thing, the reason I like this little machine thing is because it's um, music and there's like an underlying beat that if you walk to that beat and I think it's like 130 steps a minute or something like that, um, you will walk one mile in three songs. And then the other thing, this was given to me by Leslie Sansone. I mentioned her a couple times. I really love her. Um, she is actually on this, like talking over the music. Cause honestly, the reason I was singing was because I was just listening to one of the songs as I was getting ready for the show. Um, and she was talking, going, you got it. You got it. One more minute left of this song. You can pump those arms, pull in the stomach. You can do this. We can do this. And I was like, oh, she's so inspiring. So I'm hoping fingers crossed that this thing will hold the charge. And so tomorrow when I go for my walk, I will be able to listen to Leslie. I even have like, look, the little, the little funny ear things. Okay. I know everybody uses the little things that just like dangle out of your ear. I, I don't like those. I'm just saying maybe it, maybe I'm just not techy enough. Um, but I just, before the show, I tracked where I walked and I think I walked a mile, but it took me 20 minutes. Just saying. I think it, I think I walked a mile because I tracked how far I walked and it's about a half mile down and a half mile back and half plus a half equals a whole. So I walked a mile, but it did take me 20 minutes, but I did it. I don't know what the weather's like tomorrow. Fingers crossed that it's okay. Um, but I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm doing the thing. We're doing the thing. This is day one. If you missed it today, that's okay. Pick it up tomorrow. All right, we're starting off. We've seen these before, but I have to show them because people keep asking about the Aurora Borealis. 
And this is an Aurora Borealis. Now this is a larger petal. I've got a daintier one, but it's not on the silver setting. It's a copper and I can pull it if you want to see it. But this is that J hoop with, now these are acrylic, okay? But you still have that Aurora Borealis. These are so hip chick fabulous. Like I might be wearing these tomorrow on my walk because those are good. Because you get the bang of the silver, okay? Isn't that fabulous? And then you get that shimmer in the sunlight of pastel, mine 242. Just wanted to say, oh, P.S. and by the way, right after the show, I was supposed to post pictures yesterday. My bad. Things got crazy at my house last night and the picture posting did not happen. But good news. What are you saying? Oh, my goodness. That's fabulous. See, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, I have um, earrings coming that I ordered today. I will post a picture on my wall and on my business page tonight. They are a silver hoop and they have a, if they're called um, something flutter and it's a butterfly here and a butterfly at the bottom of the hoop. And then there's a pink rhinestone. They're really cute. And I have several pairs coming. So if you want to pre-claim to pre-shop the box, as we call it, I will be posting pictures on a picture of these earrings um, on my wall and on my business page. Okay. Okay. All right. So mine 315, these are seed beads. We saw a similar pair of earrings to this the other day, but they were hoops. This is a teardrop. And here you have that yellow, coral, blue cream. And then you have some silver beads at the bottom. These are super cute. And they're mine 315. Those are like boho chic. Isn't that fab? Those are so good. Mine 315. Yeah. Um, I'm really like, I'm just going to say it. I'm feeling sort of proud of myself today. I have to tell you, honestly, it was not easy to do the walk today. And I know it, that sounds really dumb, but full disclosure, I have been living a very, very sedentary life the last two years. Um, I am way out of shape. Let me tell you something that you didn't know about me, right? Okay. And um, I think it's a really good thing because previously I used to do my walking workout like at home in place kind of thing. But you know the problem with that is that you can get distracted and stop. Not that I did that often, but sometimes like you get trapped in your own way and it's like, well, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. I, I'm really excited, knock on wood, this works out, but I'm really excited that I'm doing it um, during my lunch break from work, okay? Because every day I get a lunch break, right? And I get an hour, so it's not like I can say, well, I don't have time, okay? I'm supposed to take lunch, I'm supposed to take a break, it was really good for me to get out. It was a beautiful day. Thank you, God. It was a beautiful day today. So it was nice to get out in the fresh air. I had a little sweater on. It was a little chilly, but I wasn't like freezing. And it occurred to me that maybe I hadn't thought it all the way through because when I got like halfway, I went, it's not like I can just quit and say that's it. I'm tired <laughs> because I was tired, but I had to walk home. I couldn't just like, there was no pace car that was with me. Um, like if I didn't walk home, I'd still be um, outside. And, and that probably wouldn't be a good thing. If you're laughing right now, that's okay. I'm sort of laughing at me too. All right. I only have one of these left. Okay. Thank you to everyone who ordered these. This is mine 361. This is absolutely gorgeous. You will notice that you have three smaller flowers and one larger flower. These are 3D. Can you see how the wire comes up? But super de duper light. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. Now you can shift it this way. You can attempt to get it like, you know, you can do it more like that. You can play with it. But I love that off center sort of asymmetrical look. That's mine 361 and the earrings, these earrings, I would pay $5 for these earrings. And isn't it fabulous that I can say that? Like our quality just gets better and better and better. So there's your two inch extender. 
I hope you can see that. No, though it's a little blurry. There's the two inch extender. There's those beautiful, oh, <laughs> Tabitha's like Christine, but wait, let me just show you the earrings, Tabitha. Are those not gorgeous? Like, look at those. Like those are 3D earrings. I would wear those earrings with like another necklace. I mean, you could wear them together because they do coordinate, but I'm just like, what the what? I want a picture when you're wearing this, Tabitha. I'm just saying. See, I'm presuming that that Tabitha is gonna wear this. She might be, she might be giving that to somebody else, or maybe her daughters would be wearing. I don't. I know I only had one left. They were like zip, zip, zip. Everybody wanted them. And I was like, how do I have one left? But if I have one, I got somebody's got to wear it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. So, oh my gosh. All right. The other day we saw a, um, it was blue. It was farmhouse blue. And then I showed it in, I want to say green. This is the all silver. So we've seen it in blue where there's a whole bunch of gemstones on it. We've seen it in, I think it was green that I showed it. This is the all silver version. Okay. So if you are like, no, I don't really want to do color. I want like, you know, metals. And I feel you because for the longest time, I did not wear color jewelry. I mean, I did, but I didn't often. I was like silver, silver, so because uh, I am a recovering silver snob. Um, so if there's no shame in your game, if you just want silver, this is beautiful. Um, and you have, it's almost like a pinwheel design. And there's etching on this, which is why you get that refraction of the light. Um, but this is really cute. And you have, it, it goes smaller and larger. You can adjust so it's more like that. So this is more of a symmetrical um, necklace, but that's mine, 370. And when I show you the earrings, you'll understand what I'm talking about with the part that like, you see that etching? Hold on. Come on, camera. Work with me. Work with me. See that those little lines? That's what I mean by the etching. Those lines are what's refracting the light and giving you all that sparkle. But it's so pretty. There is a little bit of a wave to them, but it's mostly the way it refracts is because of those lines. And now that I've over explained that, that's mine 370. Yes, she's going to wear it. All right. I don't want to stress anybody out, but I have to mention it because the, the thought went through my brain earlier today. I think, I think, I think. I have to sort of pick colors for my bedroom. I think, I think, I think I have to sort of pick. Oh, here's the purple. Remember I mentioned we had it in other colors here. Hold on. Here it is in purple. Same necklace. Okay. See, I say something and then, and then I, it, it's all right. No, I'm lying. This is different. I didn't mean to lie. This is different though. Similar, but not the same. I was so excited. I'm like, look, it just showed up. Okay, no, this is a different necklace. I apologize. This is mine 236. Similar in the fact that there's circles. Okay, that's all that's similar. Circles. But here you have the purple. These are different types of circles. They don't have that refraction that I was talking about a minute ago that I was babbling incoherently about. But here you have the purple stones and the silver so I apologize. It's not the same as the other one. Mine 236, but you do have purple circles, purple circles, purple circles with a lot of stones. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I was saying was before I got confused by myself, which, you know, I do on a semi-regular basis. It does. Be, okay. It's not just me. Tabitha's like, no, Christine. And that's what a good friend does. I bump into a wall and Tabitha says, what was the wall thinking? Why did it jump out in front of you? See, that's what happens. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking that I'm going to sort of kind of have to pick colors for the bedroom. 
because I think what's going to happen is by the time, if I don't pick colors for the bedroom, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in beige and that's not going to be a good thing. And I'm going to get caught up in some other project and I really need to pick colors for the bedroom. So here's my quandary. Okay. Cause I thought I was going to do my bedroom pink. Stick with me here because we're about to take a big left-hand turn. All right. This is mine. 234. The other day I showed you a dainty golden star bracelet. This is similar, but not. This is in silver. There's your two inch extender. And here you have the stars. These are a little bit thicker stars. See how thick those are? And you have ovals. So if you liked the uh, golden, here it is a little bit different, a little bolder with the, with the stars. And this is in silver. And that's mine 234. And those are the silver stars because we all be stars. So originally I was thinking of doing my, and there's, um, what are those things called? They go all the way around the border thing. It's uh, made of like molding. Um, so instead of having the wall, you have like wall molding wall. So it's like, um, what's it called? The words will come to me. It's a thing. I'm waiting for, um, I'm waiting for Tabitha to give me the words. I want to crown. No, it's, no, no, it's not crown molding. Chair rail, chair rail, chair rail. Let's say it's a chair rail. So because of that chair rail that's white, I have it in my mind that I can paint the wall instead of one color, <coughs> which honestly, I could do that, right? And then just have the white chair rail all the way around. I was thinking I had to do it in two colors. You know what I mean? Because it's sort of like three quarters down the wall, there's this chair rail. And then the last quarter, I thought like I'd have to do a different color. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have to do two colors. <laughs> Tabitha's like, chair rail. Good one, Tabitha. All right, hang on. What am I pulling? I don't know what I'm pulling. All right, this is really pretty. I don't know where this piece of tape came from. But it doesn't belong here. So I was going to paint pink. You could do one color and white. I could, right? Because I've been, that's been the problem is trying to determine what two colors are going to go well together. But maybe I don't have to do two colors. Maybe I can just paint the room one color. Like, why am I making myself crazy about this? Like my bling room is gold. You can see my bling room is gold. The whole room is gold. I didn't paint a two-tone. I painted the whole room gold. I'm so silly. Sometimes we get caught up in our head and we make it more difficult than it needs to be. All right, this is mine 208. This is a beautiful hematite ring. You have the round hematite across the top and bottom. And then you have marquee and rectangular like emerald cut across the band. And that gives you a lot of bling, but it is close to the finger. Mine too, I, because that really honestly was the holdup because I'm like, all right, what am I going to paint with the pink? And, you know, trying to find two coordinating colors. And then I took a serious left-hand turn because I was, um, you know how like um, in the spring, different like Pantone colors come out, blah, blah, blah. Well, this paint company came out with this color that I want to say is cantaloupe. And the cantaloupe is like this beautiful blushy orange. And it's almost like a peach, but not. And I thought, oh, when I saw it, it just made my heart happy. And
And, and I thought, ooh, that's a really good reaction to have to a color, right? Especially in your bedroom. Like it's soft and feminine, but happy, but not in your face. And I could put things on the wall and, right? Right? That's, but then my problem was, what color do I pair with it that's going to make me happy? All right, stretchy bracelet. We have wooden beads. Wooden beads. This is like a rough cut wooden bead. They're not going to hurt you. They're like milled down, but those are rough cut wooden beads with little silver rondelles. And then you have two of those nuggets. One is an orb in the oval and one is more of a flat. See, it's flat, so it's going to lay against the body. It's not going to be up like that. But this is really cute, mine 300. And if you're thinking, wow, that's really cute. What am I going to wear that with? Come on now, you know me. I'm your jewelry lady. All right, so you can pair that bracelet with this long necklace. Okay, those are your blue turquoise earrings. You have a beautiful diamond cut. Um, and I hope you can see the diamond cutting on those Rolo links. They're really beautiful. Then you have double links. You have, again, those wooden beads. And now you have the turquoise beads. You have silver, more silver presents. You could wear this long and fabulous. Or you can elect, because you've got rights with your jewelry. You've got jewelry rights. So you can elect to double it up. That's mine 300. If you want the bracelet, mine 300B. If you want the necklace, mine 300N. If you want the set, mine 300 set. But I think those two pieces pair really well together. You don't have to double this up because of how large those links are. I'm going to show you on me. Let me model this for you. And I just dropped the number 300. Okay, so hang on. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Okay, so here's the necklace. You put it over your head, okay? So it's a nice length. It falls below the bust. But if you wanted to shorten it up, you absolutely could, okay? And that's just really pretty as a springtime necklace. So that's mine 300. I think I will have to take off the mask at some point. Although it's not a bad look, right? All right, these earrings I have to show you because they're wooden, and I just showed you a wooden necklace, but this is a little bit different. These are boho chic. I have these upstairs in my jewelry box because I love them. Um, it makes me feel boho chic and like a hip chick to wear them. You have silver presents. Those are silver. See how the silver comes up and separates it? There's the silver presents in the back but you have that wooden. And if you've got brown hair like I do, like these are really cool. And they're mine 304. So if you want those, those are mine 304. Super pretty. So now it like, it, I'm gonna have to send you a, um, the picture of the color because I think my carpet, oh, I'm just dropping numbers left and right. Um, the carpet in upstairs, we have the whole, I have the whole upstairs carpeted the same color in my bedroom, the hallway, and the loft, and it is a um, gray. So I'm thinking that the gray is going to go well with like that really light uh, melon. All right. These are a dainty, hello dainty, mine 303. These are post back earrings, great for St. Patty's Day. Whether you wear them in your first hole or your second hole, you have two different types of green. And then you have a rhinestone in there as well. But you have the silver has that special cut work on it. Isn't that pretty? Now with these, let me see if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. We've never done this before. So hold on to your hats. We're about to do a thing we haven't done before. Hold, now I say that, I'm not going to be able to do it. Wouldn't that be hilarious? All right, so you ready? I'm going to do this. Can you see that even better now? I don't know if it's picking up right. 
So see, you have two different greens and then you have the gray rhinestone. Isn't that beautiful? Like those are so stinking cute. And that's mine 303. Again, you could wear them in the first hole or you could wear them in the second hole. Perfect for St. Patty's Day. And you know, if I just paint everything the same color, it's going to be like easier, much, much easier. I'm into the easier. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the easier. Ooh, these are cute. I have to show you a little bit of bling because I am known as the blingy bombshell. How cute is this? Rhinestones and hearts. Rhinestones and hearts. Now you do have a thicker curb link here, so you have a lot more silver presence. You've got two strands of chain. The earrings are stinking cute too. I'm just gonna say it, the earrings are stinking cute. Mine 367, look how cute those earrings are. Rhinestones and little baby hearts, they're so cute. You still get the two inch extender, but that gives you, am I, am I showing it to you backwards? I keep showing it to you backwards. Oh, I'm a mess. I have to stop claiming that. I read somewhere or somebody said, don't claim it. Um, it was some, I think it was an athlete. And he was saying, I don't say this about myself. I don't claim that as the truth. You know, I might be feeling a certain kind of way, but that feeling is going to pass and I'm not going to put that out in the universe. And I thought, wow, he is an evolved human being and I need to evolve. I know evolution takes a minute, but I only have so many years left in me. You know what I'm saying? So I got to sort of speed it up. You know, I got to sort of like pick up the pace. Mine 367. I think that is so stinking cute. And it's daintier. Like, you know, when you wear it against your body, it's not going to seem as big as it does when I show it like, oh my gosh, it's as big as a city. No, it's just, it's a necklace. Tabitha's like, Christine got some fresh air today and she's saying all sorts of silly things. Yes, yes, I am. All right, the other day I showed a pair of earrings that are similar to this, but they were in gold. Today we have gunmetal. Gunmetal. And they're mine 338. So you have that teardrop and you have the geometric pattern on this. There is no stone in this. Okay. They're a little bit concave. These are very lightweight. Super cute. Super cute. Mine 338. If you're watching, pop on and say hello. I know you're stalking me. Erin's watching. She's not saying hi. I don't know why. But that's okay if you don't want to say hello. That's fine. I don't know why you don't want to talk to me. Okay, we're going to do some studying. Hi, Sherry. Okay, this is a studding. I love this bracelet. It's a studded bracelet. There is no stone on this. This is all done through beadwork. I hope you can see that. There are a bunch of little beads and there's a lot of oxidation to this. I love this bracelet. It is a stretchy bracelet, but it fills in beautifully. You can wear this by itself or you can stack it. And it's mine 311. Now for me, it's gapping out a little bit. So this is more for an average size wrist, but so stinking pretty. Mine 311. And then, Tabitha, have you seen all the talk lately about Kate and William? Like they are so dissecting everything she does. I really don't think she's going to have another baby. 
I really don't think she's going to have baby number four. I think baby number three is the end of like, you know, little baby Prince Louis. I think that's the end, but she's just so stinking adorable. Um, but this, when I saw it, I thought, oh yeah, Diana. So there's that blue, that brilliant sapphire blue. These are a larger earring, not huge, but they've got a presence to them. And then you have the rhinestones. And this is on a silver setting, but there is a lot of, um, of a, a distressed effect to it, which gives it more of a darkened look. And that's mine 327. But that is a fabulous pop of blue. And again, you don't usually wear both earrings in one ear, but if you wanted to, I'm not going to, I don't want to shame you. Okay. Mine three, mine 327. Yeah, I know. And, and, you know, I think the, one of the reasons why I think that they're going to stop at three, and this is just me, and you know, probably more about this than I do, but her pregnancies are really hard. I got you, Tabitha. Thank you. Her pregnancies are really hard. And you know, she's amazing. Like she is such a strong person on so many levels. But though the pregnancies are really hard on her and everything that I'm reading is about them upping their presence in everything that they do. And so that's why I'm sort of thinking that, you know, with the queen being sick and, you know, her taking on the rugby things that Harry did. And everything else and like Camilla, like all these, all these different shuffling things. But I don't know that. And, and I think the other reason why I think that they're not going to have a baby is because they're joking about it. They're very, very private. And if there was even a pos, I personally think, and I could be wrong. Like I said, you might know more than I do. Um, but they're joking about it. Like, you know, he's saying things like, don't give my wife any ideas. And, you know, he's saying things like, give the baby back, you know, when she holds a baby. Um, right. And the fact that they're joking about it, I think if they were really considering having another child, there wouldn't be, I mean, like they really seem to be in such a good place. I'm so happy for them. And, you know, boo-hoo, Megan and Harry, you messed up. I'm just going to say it. You messed up. All right. This is one of those pinch wrap bracelets, okay? It is not going to open up. There is nothing that you have to do to put this on your wrist, okay? You literally take your hand, and even me, fluffy chick over here, you take your hand, you slip it in, and then it closes, okay? There's no opening on this at all. Okay. It doesn't come off. It doesn't do anything. You just open it up. Mine 201. And then to get it off, you literally move it to the end of your hand. Hold on. I should probably do it with, and you pinch and see how much it opens up. Look how much that opens up. Okay. So there's nothing you have to do. It is always going to be in this closed position. These little uh, dangles are always going to stay in the front. They're not going anywhere. You have a rhinestone here. It's a hammered around the side and you have pearls and an open little heart cut out. I think that's just darling. And that's mine 201. You could wear this by itself or you could stack it or you could give it to a friend and they can wear it by itself or stack it. Um, but I just think that that gives you like just a little something, something, just a little something, something which is a very good thing. And then, like I said, to take it off, you just sort of like, you know, prince and pull, pinch and pull. I can speak English. Pinch and pull. Now that I've said that, oh, it's so easy to take off and then I can't get it off. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Woman trapped in bracelet. See, because what happens is that's what it does. Isn't that cool? I think that that's just fabulous. I don't know how we did it, but we did it and it's fabulous. I'm just going to say it. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'd be thrilled if they had a baby number four. I'd be thrilled. 
How many babies does her did her parents have? They have Pippa, Catherine, and then the brother. What's the brother's name? James. Do they have any other siblings that I'm not familiar with that's out of the spotlight, or are there just three kids for the Middletons? I don't know how many children the Middletons, three, okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking like there's sort of a precedence, you know, and, and they're working well together. It's like, but you know what? If they have another baby, I'm not gonna get upset about it. All right, this is dangly. I love the dangle on this. Here you have that scratchy oxidized finish. And then these, um, we had another pair that like the pieces moved. Here you have small and large pieces, but they are set in. So they're not going to um, move around, but this is so fun. Those are a good pair of earrings. A little more Bollywood inspired. Mine, 376. These are not heavy though. These are a good weight. And they give you that, hi, I dream a genie. Mm -hmm. Mine, 376. I will be really, 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 really upset if the queen doesn't get better. Because when is her um, jubilee? When is the jubilee officially? I know, I know. I'm not going to be mad if she have a fourth. Like the queen's got to get better for her jubilee. I think that's not till July, but I could be wrong. I could be brown. I could be blue. She had it already. No, but is that it? Is that all? Is is there no like big grand parades and stuff? What was it that Harry was saying he might not come back because he can't have security for it? Is it already done? That was it? That was it? That was all for 70 years? Because she had the, what was that day? The anniversary day, the coronation day. But I thought they were going to have some kind of big hoop de doo That was it? Wow. That was sort of anticlimactic. Mine 249 is this beautiful bypass ring. You have silver studding. And then you have the gray rhinestones. Maybe get birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that there was some kind of big like festivities that were going to happen this summer. And that's mine 249 that I'm not capturing this right. Where is the deal? Okay. And that's gray rhinestones on the horizontal. Ring pillow also included. I don't know, but what was it that Harry was like complaining, not complaining, he was saying that he needed security so that he'd be able to come. And I thought that that was still going on. Maybe I'm wrong. Stranger things have happened. I haven't eaten any carbs today, Tabitha. It's entirely possible that I am in fact wrong. I'm just saying. Stranger things have happened. It's not that strange for me to be wrong. You know it. I know it. All right. These are beautiful. And if you've been looking at the turquoise and going, I don't know. I'm not really a cowgirl. Can I pull the, it off? Yes. Yes, you can. Turquoise are a beautiful robin's egg blue stone. Okay. So here you have that turquoise color and there's lot, a lot less crackle on these. So this is more of like a blue acrylic stone. And then you have that silver. <laughs> it's like, it'd be really cool if it was coming up, but it, uh, you know, we're both going, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. These are mine 319 and these are beautiful. So if you love the color blue, look how good blue looks with brown hair. I'm just saying it also looks good with blonde hair and black hair. 
but these are the J hoops. The J goes this way and they are post back. These are super cute. And again, these don't scream Southwestern, but you do have that Robin's egg blue. Let me see if I can get it to focus. That is so beautiful. And that is Hello Spring, mine 319. I'm just saying. Because I know sometimes when I show turquoise, it's, it's the bigger, chunkier pieces. And that can be very overwhelming for people. But the color turquoise is so beautiful. Now I'm going to show you the big chunky piece. Because <laughs> maybe you like, I mean, like Loretta loves the big chunky piece. Okay, so this is the big chunky piece. And here, now this is a more southwestern flare because you've got a larger piece of turquoise. And I have to tell you, Misty, one of the founding sisters, um, she loves turquoise. Like she loves a good southwestern piece. Mine, 239. So, oh, look, I, I put a knot in this. I should not have put a knot in a necklace. Hang on. Please hold. Talk amongst yourselves. I wonder what we all did before we could Google stuff. Because now it's like, I wonder what the Royals are doing. Let me Google that. <laughs> all right. So this is mine, 239. Here are the turquoise earrings. And then you have a beautiful link. Let me show you that link. And it does come down to that amazing pendant. And here you have a flower. There is no stone in there. That is a silver presence. And you have that feather, and that's like a wheat. And then these are more like a sunrise look, but you have that very large, very fabulous turquoise teardrop. And that's the finding on the back. That's gorgeous. Now, me personally, I've said this before. I'll say it again. You could probably say it in your sleep with me. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of necklaces that dangle around my belly button. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Well, we waited for the latest edition of People Magazine. I mean, seriously, now we're so like ahead of the, you know, we waited for the magazine or to show up in the New York Post. Cause I remember the New York Post, like they had all the gossip on page six. Right. Um, but now like even TV shows, like there's teasers and spoilers on TV shows. Like, seriously, we've got no patience for everything. We want to know all the surprises like yesterday. A movie comes out and we already know the ending. I mean, like the who done it, we know before the trailer. I know! They were all... And, and the wonderful thing about it is we find that we had like, we have similar experiences. All right, so I love this wide um, because I would want this higher. That's just me. If you want a long elongator necklace, knock yourself out. Me, I want it shorter. I want it up here so you can see it. I, I want you looking up here by my face, not down by my hips. But that's a me thing. Maybe when I am thinner, I will want you hanging out by my hips. Did that sound awkward a little bit? Maybe just a little bit. But I walked a whole mile today, so I'm feeling pretty proud of it's almost like I'm at goal weight because I walked a mile. That's that's some projectioning, huh? I'm I'm really going, yeah. I'm almost at goal weight because I walked a whole mile. I wonder how many miles a day a mailman walks. I don't think I could be a postal person. <laughs> yes. We are instant gratification like nobody's business. Can you imagine? Because um, you know at some point, I at least I believe, you know, we watch Star Trek and they had those communicators and then we have cell phones. So at some point, there's going to be those little machines that like can recreate stuff, right? Or like the food makery thing, like I'd like a cup of Earl Grey and it just like materializes. I don't know if that's going to happen in our lifetime, but I'm just saying. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm just saying. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. All right. The other day I showed a macrame um, pair of earrings. And I know that putting things together is sort of fun. So this is a macrame bracelet with a resin bead of a, like a sandy bead. This is one of those cinch pulls. Okay. So you cinch it by pulling. It's a cinch to open and close. Because of how this opens and closes, you could totally wear this as an ankle bracelet, depending on the width of your ankle. But that is so cool. And then the beads at the bottom, like that's where you're pulling. So that's even decorated, which is so fun. And that's mine 289. Now, as you imagine, this is a very lightweight piece. This is like when you have a tan, like that is such a cool bracelet. And that's mine 289. And I will show it to you up close. There you go. There you go. Isn't that cool? All right, now the other piece that I wanted to show you that I think would look really good is if you wore this ring, which has got the inlaid enameling. And I think that that's a very boho chic look. And so you have that brown and then the white enameling inlaid. It is a stretchy back. It's going to fit sizes six through 11. That is gorgeous. And it is close to the finger. It doesn't like project off the hand. And that's mine 247. Now with that, I might stack these two bracelets. And here you have two urban bracelets. These are two different bracelets. And I will give them the number 251 A and B. A and B, okay? One of them, they're, they coordinate beautifully together because you've got the brown and the dark brown. You have lava beads here. They are both stretchy. And that's mine 251. Now these are two bracelets. I'm showing them together because I think they just really work well together. You have the gray marble, the brown, the lava beads. And I think like these just pair really crazy good together and they feel good together. So if you're thinking about, oh, I want to have a stack look, but I don't know how to do it. These are great because it gives you that earthy, boho chic, hiking Barbie can a man wear these? Sure they can. But those are really cool. Mine 251. And like I said, those are two individual bracelets. You don't have to take both, but I just think that they pair really well together. Um, I want to make your life easier. And since I'm not coming over to do your laundry, I sew you some jewelry that goes well together. I'm not mentioning the laundry as if that might be a possibility because it's absolutely not. As in absolutely not. All right. The other day, I think it was yesterday, I showed a crackle, not a crackle. It was, it's like a geo kind of necklace. And so it's like chips of stone and it was a teardrop, but it was a longer necklace. Mine 223. This is a very similar look with that geo look. But here you have more of the gray. Can you see that? And it's scattered in there. So you have gray and then you have chips. And it is set in that little silver. So it's really cool. The earrings, and this is a shorter necklace. Here are the earrings. Let's see if the camera will focus. Focus camera. And you have that like geo look. So along the top, there's like little beads and then you have like that geo dust with the stones. That's the same thing that happens on the necklace and that's mine 223. 
This is more of a shorter necklace. You have a little bit of twinkle on that chain. And that's just going to sit right here. This is a great neutral, but it gives you that like earthy kind of vibe. Again, that boho chic. Boho. And then to round out the look, because again, not coming over to do your laundry. Don't bring your laundry over here for me to do it. It's not going to happen. Won't be pretty. These earrings are smaller hoops, not the baby hoops, but a medium hoop that is post back. And this has a wave to it. So you have that crinkly artisan look. These are really pretty. They throw the light beautifully and they're mine 255, mine 255. Super pretty. So if you want something that's more of an organic feel to it. All right, having said all that, I am gonna dash, but I'll be back tomorrow night at nine o'clock for the shine at nine. I'm super excited to see you then. Um, the pieces that I've pulled for tomorrow's show are just a little bit amazing. I'm just going to say it. Until then, have a great night. Get some rest because tomorrow we're walking again. We're walking. We're walking. I love you. Thank you for watching. If you're catching the replay, screenshot whatever you want and send me a picture. I will be posting those butterfly earrings immediately after the show on my wall and on my business page. If you want to pre-shop the box, just either comment underneath the picture or send the picture to me in Messenger and let me know how many you want because I have multiples coming. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.